In the second chapter for the third tutorial, we're going to focus on the hair for the face. We're going to do everything faster this time, just to see how the process is. So we made a new particle system. And here in settings, we're going to select hair base. So we already have the settings from the previous system. But we're going to click on the two icons so we can make a copy the settings for this particle system. So we have a unique copy. Otherwise, if we change settings there, they will be changed on the other system as well. Some little things to tweak is just let's remove the randomness. Let's name it properly. I made it a bit shorter as well. And the second step is just to make a vertex group to control the density. Otherwise, we'll have again hair inside the mouth and everywhere. So just made a new one. Select all the vertices assigned. So we have 100% influence there. And now let's remove it from the inside part of the mouth. The fastest way to do it is just to select a loop around the mouth. Let's mark a seam there. And now in face select mode, if you press if you press L, you'll see now that the selection is limited by the seams. So you can select easier this way. Move there. Just select a few loops, then Ctrl plus to select more loops around it. And now let's use it. Let's go to the particle settings, vertex group panel, and use it as its density. Awesome. Instead of 250,000 particles, let's only render 100,000. 100. And now let's comb it. Keep in mind that now that you have two particle system, when you enter particle mode, you, you have to select from the options panel on the left, you have to select which particle system you want to edit. You may be editing the wrong one. So that's a good reason why to name them properly. See how it looks. Mm, could have some work. Let's add a new material. Right now it's using the material number two, which is the same for the hair base. So make a new material. Let's use as a basis the other material, but just press the number next to it. So you make it local, you make it unique. Make the root a bit smaller and a lot more transparent. So we don't really see it that much. Has to be really subtle. bit shorter, but instead of using that value, let's uh, make it shorter by the texture. So use the texture, then press the number again. So we have a, a local copy, a unique copy of this texture. So we don't mess the other particle system. And now let's play with the values there in the color band widget. So we have shorter hair. And speaking of length, uh, you can tell a big difference between the length of the particle system in the body and in the face. So for that, we're going to use, guess what? A vertex group. Go to vertex group, let's make a new one. Hair, face, length, original name. And here, let's paint whatever we want the uh, hair to be shorter or be longer. So basically that has to be all the same size, all long. So just select everything, assign, weight of one, and it's all red, cool. So by the time it reaches the face, we have to make it shorter. So for that, in the vertex group, we are going to remove some weight. So just move the weight value down, and then control with the strength and how much you're going to push it down. Let's make use of it from the vertex groups panel and below density, you can change the length. So what you're painting now here is basically length. So you can see if you paint, you make it either grow or shrink. See how that looks. Select. Let's see how it looks. Eek. Well, 
looks more unified than before and we're still missing a new particle si two more particle system so don't worry if it looks too horrible um what i did now i just disabled shadows to receive shadows in the shadows panel for this material for the face i just disabled it because it was giving some weird shadows over there and i still have that but i think i can tweak it with the specularity and making it more transparent as well so first let's tweak this a little bit more let's play with the randomness again and and so if the particles don't blend that well there is a setting you can use it's called surface diffuse it's inside the strand panel on materials and basically what this will do is try to match the lighting that reaches the surface and try to use that for lighting the hair, for the shading of the hair. So there is a better transition between the hair and the skin beneath. So basically here is also a lot of tweaking, a lot of hand tweaking. And this is only two systems. We still have more to go. So in the next chapter, I'm going to focus on the chest hair and yeah those little shadows will go away for sure when we have uh, textures which is in the next chapter